let's just have a look at a simple example and we'll move on from there. So here we have an example of 2 times 4. We can help our students see and we'll have done this as they um, go through their exercises that it's the same as 4 times 2. By using materials we can easily show that these are the same. We can rotate them. I won't do it because I'll mess them up but we would have our students do that. When it comes to division we can do something like this which I think is a little bit interesting. If we arrange it within the layout for a division algorithm then we can have the 8 in this case underneath the line. On this side we can say how many rows are there. There are two rows. How many columns are there? There are four. So with the reversed one we could do the same thing only the other way around. So this time we've got a 4 here. What will this number be? This will be 2. Now what I need to say and what you've probably recognised is students of this age aren't doing the division algorithm. Of course they're not. We're just doing basic facts. They're not ready for written recording of the whole algorithm or anything like that. But it effectively helps prepare them for the algorithm which will come sometime in the future in a way that is relatively easy to see. The only thing left to do really rather than go through any more examples because as I said these are not terribly difficult is really to talk about the pedagogy of doing this and the approach recommended as always with number facts is to develop the students thinking abilities. We're aiming to, and we use other words as well so we're, we're aiming to develop mathematical thinking we're aiming to develop their memorization of number facts and we're aiming to develop fluency which of course means, means speed and efficiency. So all of those things are the goals and I believe they're all completely achievable. If we take this as I've already said and I've said in all my other videos a thinking approach to teaching these topics. So when we're doing this revision and this is a revision set so it's all the number facts using those multipliers in all sorts of combinations and you'll see on the worksheet there's addition and subtraction as well. We want our students to be moving forwards to moving towards fluency and complete memorization and so on and this is the last set in the book so it's the the most challenging set of worksheets but we want our students to be demonstrating fluency. So in other words if the students are not at that level, if they're stuck on a set like if they find the threes out of those probably the threes are the most difficult. If they just can't get the threes right I wouldn't force the issue. I wouldn't say well just you know count on your fingers or heaven forbid use a calculator or count on the counters or something like that but just back off a bit and perhaps give them some more revision of thinking about the three times table and the strategies and so on. Ultimately of course the goal is memorization and not using strategies. So we're hoping at this point that students will some at least and you know increasing numbers of them will be looking at these going I just know the answers. You know two fours are eight. That's, I just know that. And if you say eight divided by four I don't need to arrange them in any special way. I just know eight divided by four is two and eight divided by two is four. So that's the goal. That's the aim. And one more little point to mention here at this point when we're talking about memorization is we don't equate memorization with rote learning. So there is no rote learning in any of this. We're not going to do any laborious boring chanting of number facts. We're not going to just repeat them and repeat them and repeat them. We'll give them lots of practice. We'll give them drill. We'll give them exercises. We'll give them worksheets to revise and practice and get used to getting the answers right and be reminded of the answer. But our primary method for getting it into your head is through that is initially thinking and then familiarity and then leading hopefully to automaticity. In other words doing it automatically.